So Meta have entered the AI race with an app that rivals ChatGPT and a lot of people say that they could win AI because they've got this huge user base. But my hot take is I'm not really convinced, I don't really get it. Mark Zuckerberg does, he's been on quite a few podcasts in the last week or so, making the point that Meta AI already has a billion users because it's in WhatsApp, Instagram and Facebook. But to me, these aren't places that people need or want AI, right? Like, what do you think about that? Personally, I have never been in a WhatsApp conversation and thought, oh, I could really do with AI's help here. Like, these are the places where we're supposed to show up as humans. So yes, Meta have this absolutely vast reach, but that's not the same as solving problems with AI. Whereas Google and Microsoft, that's where AI really earns its keep, right? It's going to help us with the horrible, boring stuff like documents, spreadsheets, endless research in search engines, meetings, emails, stuff like that. Now, personally, I'm leaning more strongly towards Google, and that's why I recorded this video, because today I've been working on this really tedious document, building that up. And I was using Google Gemini because I'm finding that their canvas mode and their edit with Gemini, so the sort of, you know, in-document collaboration where you can just sort of chat to Gemini about bits of it and improve it, it's that little bit easier to use than ChatGPT's canvas mode. And I just thought, this is fantastic. I got it finished, one click, it's straight into Google Docs. It really is a best in class type experience. I still think Google have a bit of tying up to do across YouTube, search, Gmail, workspace, but imagine if they did just tie that up really beautifully. There's no doubt that they would win over the much bigger consumer base. Yes, I know Microsoft is baked into, I think about 70% of the Fortune 500 companies, so very strong hold on the enterprise market. But Google really holds the bigger consumer market and probably the younger generation of users that are increasingly taking that into the workplace anyway. And then they're building standalone products like Notebook LM, which I think is still one of the most interesting AI products that has been launched. Maybe I'm wrong. There are much smarter people than me that think that Meta might win AI in terms of sheer scale. I don't see it. Like Gemini, Claude, ChatGPT, Grok, DeepSeek, they've all got clearer reasons to exist than Meta AI when you think about it.